So we've got the door open, we have a clear view of the mirror, the only problem is, is it's buried behind all this. So let's get started taking off the door panel. We're going to come right over here, you can see this little hatch, I'm just going to grab my pocket screwdriver and pop it right out of there. Behind there you're going to see a Phillips head screw, remove it. We're going to come right behind this handle right here, the pocket screwdriver, and just pull this plastic out of here. Right behind there you'll see another Phillips head screw. Get that out of there. So next we're going to push in on these little tabs right here. Once you do that, you can just grab this. Once you do that, just pull this right out of here, set it aside, continue down and around. Continuing along, you're going to start seeing some Phillips heads. Remove those as well. Grab onto this handle and give it a nice tug. Oh yeah. So the next thing to do to get this off of here, yeah, you could try to get a ratchet in between there and that's fine and good. But what I like to do, grab right onto this, carefully lift this up and out of the way. This is going to give us plenty of slack at this point to draw this right down. And then we can see our three mounting bolts and the electrical. Next, we're going to disconnect the electrical. You do that by pressing down on this tab and drawing this out. Take a peek, make sure there's no funny colors. Once you have the electrical out of the way, you can continue by removing these eight millimeter nuts. Just be careful, because that's the only thing holding the mirror on. Grab onto that mirror, remove the last one. There we are, friends. Here we go. Let's get our mirror mounted in here. Snug them up. You want to make sure that these are nice and tight. The last thing you want is for your mirror to start flapping around on the road. Once you've done that, connect your electrical connector. Give it a tug. Perfect. Now it's time to get the trim back up on here. Just pay attention to the lip that runs along the door. Let's get these push clips back in here. Put that so it's nice and level. Don't forget to put that window trim back on. Now it's time to get the door panel on. Put your lock up through the hole. Line it up and give it a couple loving blonks. Once you get all those push clips in, go ahead and put in these screws. Let's get these screws in as well. Make sure you close both those hatches. Set the mirror so you can see properly. <laughs> if you're doing the passenger side mirror, the procedure would be the same.